Hello Belize, my name is Nadia Love and today I'm going to be recreating this look right here like oh my gosh is she not freaking stunning? <sighs> Calm down <laughs> you guys this like literally tickled my insides when I saw it <laughs> because she looks gorgeous and I know like I have to do this look I have to recreate it for you guys I haven't done a look in so long I've been like on a hiatus but I feel like this is the look that I need to do so without further ado let's get into the video okay I'm going to be priming my face with the touch of soul no pore problem primer I also paired it with the no pore problem essence and water priming water and priming essence so this works really good I my pores do not get clogged at all when I use this and it feels so good on my skin like what the heck Okay, now that my base is ready, I'm going to be using the True Skin High Coverage Concealer from Catrice in 039 Warm Olive and 046 Warm Toffee. I'm not using foundation today because I don't really like foundation and I found that this really is a good concealer. Yes, I know that it's like really light, but I'm going to be blending it out, you guys. You have to trust the process. Oh, this one is lighter. I need a different, I need a different shade of this. Okay, so I got it in the shade 060 Neutral Fudge. And this one is like, what I'll use for my foundation color. Okay, so I know that it looks like really messed up. It looks like really terrible right now. And I'm going to be fixing that, you guys. You have to trust the process. So I'm going to be taking the concealer in a deeper shade, 092 Warm Spices. And I'm going to be contouring with this. And this shade is like almost like... This shade is almost my natural contour color. So when I put it on, like on my forehead, you can barely see it. And we're keeping, we're gonna be keeping everything a little bit natural because the freckles are gonna like take up all of the space. I have the concealer in 039 warm olive again and I'm just going to be concealing a little bit I don't usually conceal my under eyes I just use powder but I go where the line is and I try not to go outside of that line because it will make your under eyes look very weird to blend it out I have these hello kitty um, beauty blenders. I got these from Sheen because I'm broke. I'm going to try them out for the first time. I have not used these before. First, I'm going to be blending my concealer. But don't, don't screenshot this, you guys. This is like a really natural finish because I feel like it's taking up all of the product. I'm going to bake my face because I just blended out my concealer and I don't want it to crease even though my eyes don't crease that much. I'm not going to take a lot of product and I don't really tap it off, tap off the excess. I'm going to contour my nose with this brush. I'm going to be using the Nikita palette, the face palette. I actually love this palette. You guys, my phone freaking stopped recording and I'm glad I didn't do anything else but like contour my nose. But why did it stop recording? That's so weird. For this look, her eyebrows are like shaved off, but I'm not going to shave my eyebrows because I, I need my eyebrows because my forehead. But for this look, 
I don't know if I'm going to For this look, I'm not going to block out my eyebrows or anything. I feel like the eyebrows on me is necessary. And yeah, I'm not going to black out my eyebrows. I feel like that's too much work for me right now. And I'm almost, and my base is done. So I can't even do that right now. I'm going to do my eyebrows right quick and I'll be right back. Now that my eyebrows are as symmetrical as they can get, I'm going to be using the Simple Beauty Eyeshadow Primer. I'm thinking I should do one eye and I should come back to you when I know what I'm doing. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so here's the eye almost finished. I have to do the lashes, but this is as good as I can get it for right now. So let's do, I'm going to do this eye on camera so you guys can see, obviously. But let's do this. I have this ColourPop. It's a magnetic, a magnetic palette. But I have a white from one of their tie-dye collections. I think it's from the green one. I just took it on and put it on here. I'm just going to prep my eye with that. I'm going to take this blue from the Hip Dot Sin Oat. Sin Oat something. I don't know how to say this. I'm illiterate. And if you hear the dogs barking, I'm sorry. I ha I can't re-record this video without them barking. They bark a lot and it's really irritating. At the end of the day, they're going to be barking at some point. I'm going to take that and put it like on the corner of my eye. I'm just going to blend that out, like smoke it out a lot. This is like the hardest part of the eyeshadow look. It's almost like a butterfly shape, which I'm very used to because I draw butterflies on my eyes like all, all the time, you know, something's wrong with me. That's like my only thing I can do. <laughs> I'm going to take that white again and I'm just going to go on top of it to like blend it out some more. This palette and I'm going to take this dark shade, this and this dark shade to apply right here. Now I'm going to go in with the Nikita X Morphe palette and I'm taking this black and I'm going to add that to the corner and it's just going to overlap the blue a little bit. The black kind of looks blue when you put it on top of blue so it works out. It makes It just makes the blue darker. Okay, I'm also going to be fixing this side as I go because it's kind of like irritating me how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to start doing this part on this eye. And what I did was I took this same shade on a brush that's like really flat and kind of round. I don't know if you can see it. But it's, oh my gosh, what the heck? It's flat and round, and I can just put the product on there, you know? Now I'm going to be taking this True Skin High Coverage Concealer again, but this time it's in the lighter shade, the lightest shade in 01 Neutral Swan. I'm going to put this on the back of my hand so I can pick the product up on my brush. 
this round brush to shape out, map out the, um, well, to place the concealer. I'm going to be taking the same white color, the white eyeshadow, and I'm going to be placing that over the concealer. So I'm going to be taking the same colors and I'm going to just be applying them to go closer to like the, my inner corner. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this shade. It's called Rain. And I'm just going to add that on like a little bit of this blue towards the inner corner. So it can be like, I, I think glitter makes it blend in more. So that's what I'm using it for. Okay, now that my eyes are finished, I'm going to be adding the mascara. Hers is white, so I'm going to have to like make mine white somehow. So let's do this. First, I'm just going to add mascara to my lashes. This is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect and Mascara. While we wait for that to dry down, I'm going to start on the freckles. So I have this freckle pin from ColourPop Cosmetics. And this is like the darkest shade. I've had this for almost a year or two i don't know ever since it came out and also let me wipe this powder off right quick i'm going to take the nyx lift and snatch eyebrow um thingy brow tint and i'm just gonna go i'm just gonna add like life to the freckles Okay, now that the freckles are on, I'm going to be doing the eyelashes. So I have this um, concealer. <laughs> I'm just gonna paint that onto my eyelashes. Wow, this looks really, um, it's giving, you know? My lashes are really long. Okay, now that that's on, I'm going to be taking the white again. And I'm just going to be setting it. Also, if you are following this tutorial, try not to get it on to your, um, your eyeshadow. Now that my eyes are finally done, I'm going to be taking the Nikita X Morphe palette and I'm just going to be contouring my face and adding blush to it. So I have this blush brush. I don't know how to say the brand name, but I shall tag everything that I'm using in the, in the um, description. So first I'm taking BB girl I feel like the blush doesn't show enough so I'm taking my Kaja Play Bento and O2 Cloud Latte taking the blush shade this blush is like really light kind of looks the same as that one but it's like more pigmented
have this brush it's a contour brush i don't know what brand it's from i'm terrible at brands but i'm going to be taking this shade now this shade i actually do like tap off the excess because it can be really dark but it blends out a lot but i don't feel like blending it out a lot you know i'm going to highlight my nose using this kaja play bento in smolder season this is limited edition so i think that you guys should go get it because i use this every time i do my makeup i'm taking the top shape by the way oh my gosh i freaking hate highlighting and do you see that like Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take this highlighter brush from the same brand as the blush brush. And I'm just going to highlight. Look at how pretty it is. Like, you can see it right here, and then you can't see it when you look forward, you know? That's the kind of highlighter I love. So, I'm going to take this brown shade from the hip dot palette subsurface I have this lipstick from elf liquid matte lipstick it's in Paraline. I use this all the time it's like my lip color but better it looks like my lip color but a little bit darker Okay, so this is how it looks so far I'm freaking loving this like oh my gosh I feel like I need more blush I don't know what's wrong with me but I need more blush okay so she has like little pearls on her eyes well on like around her eyes but I do not have little pearls I just have little um crystals so i'm going to be using this as my little pearls you know okay so everything is done i guess i just have to style my hair and that's all <laughs> okay lovelies here's the final look i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you watched all the way to the end leave a blue and white heart down in the comments comment section and if you just like want to know some more stuff about this look just leave a comment down below and let me know what type of videos you guys would like me to do i'm not good at making the outro but like check out my instagram <laughs> i have to self promote for a little while check out my instagram subscribe to my youtube channel like this video leave a comment yeah, that's all. Bye, guys.